Hi everyone, I'm Mrs. Curry Allen, and I'm so excited to teach you all an enrichment video today. Today, we're gonna to be learning about the globe and the map, which is something we learn in social studies. It's really important that we learn about the globe and the map so that we can know all about the different countries in the world, how to get around, how to explore, and where things are in relationship to other things. So we're going to start that today and we'll continue learning about it throughout the following weeks. Okay, before we get started with our lesson today, I am Mrs. Curry Allen, like I said before, I am the principal of RKES. I have my contact information here if you or your parents need to get in contact with me. You can reach me by email, by phone, on Parent Square, or you can send me a message on Instagram at RKES underscore dragons. Okay. So today, before we get started, let's go ahead and go over our agenda. So first of all, we're gonna go over our objectives for today. We're gonna learn the oceans. We're gonna learn the continents. We're gonna take some time to get some materials. We're then gonna do an activity and then we're gonna close out. All right, so today our very first objective is that we are going to be able to name the five different oceans. Can I see five fingers? Good job, all right. So we're gonna name the five different oceans. We're also gonna name the seven continents. Can you show me seven with your fingers? Great, so the seven different continents. And then finally, we're gonna make our own map, which is really exciting because then we can keep it um, and use it when we're exploring. So let's go ahead and start. So before we get started, let's think. What are the, some of the things you might be wondering about the world? You can tap your brain as you're thinking. What do you wonder about our world? Hmm. One thing you might be wondering is where is Korea? Where is South Korea? And this is the Korean flag. I know we talk about people being from South Korea or visiting our grandparents in South Korea. Um, Nuri, who is one of our students, just moved to South Korea, but where is South Korea? You might be wondering that. You might also be wondering, where is Mexico? So that's a picture of the Mexican flag right there. So where is Mexico? Like, I know people live there. I know I've even been there, but where does it exist on the map? So those might be a couple things that you're wondering. You might also be wondering, where do penguins live? Penguins are really cute little animals who live in places where it snows, but you might be wondering like, where do they live? I, I've never seen one. You might have watched Finding Nemo and you're wondering where Nemo was whenever he got lost and whenever he went on his big adventure. Um, and so we'll find that out today too. And we'll also find out where tigers live. So we're gonna be finding out all of these different things along with lots of more and or, uh, lots of additional information. All right. So maps and globes. I'm gonna give you a little bit of instruction before you watch our video. So this is a picture of a map. And a map is a diagram of an area of land or sea. So sea is this water. So it's the water that surrounds all of the pieces of land um, around these big masses of land that we're gonna learn about, okay? So a map is a diagram of an area of land or sea. And a globe, a globe is a spherical model of the earth. So you remember from your math class that a sphere is a circle. It's a three-dimensional image of a circle. And a globe is a spherical model of the Earth, okay? So we're gonna look at maps and globes today. Okay, so this map shows the continents and the oceans. So this is an example of a map 
that shows the continents and the oceans. What is a continent? That is a big word that you might not have heard before. A continent is a giant landmass that is separated by seas and oceans. So it's a giant landmass that is separated by seas or oceans. So this thing in pink, that's a continent. This thing in green, that's a continent. The yellow, the orange, the teal, the purple, and the blue, those are all continents. They're big, giant uh, places of pieces of land. And in order to get from one to the other, you have to cross a sea or an ocean. And what is an ocean? It's a very large expanse of sea. So all of this light blue, those are the oceans. Let's go ahead and let's take a second and watch this video so that we can learn all about the, um, the globe, the continents, and the oceans. Okay, and we're going to get started right now. Have one of these maybe at home or at school it's a globe a model of the whole earth small enough to fit right on your desk think of it as a map that's in the shape of a ball by getting to know your globe you can get to know all of the land masses and bodies of water that cover our planet and what their names are so let's take a pretend trip around the world all of the blue on the globe that's where there's water and all the other colored parts that's land. As you can see, Earth is mostly covered in water, with large land masses here and there. In fact, there are seven different land masses on the Earth, and these chunks of land are called continents. This piece here is called North America. It's one of the seven continents. The one below it is another continent called South America. On this side of the globe, we have some other continents. This chunk here is Africa, and up here is Europe. And next to it is Asia, our largest continent. Down here by itself is Australia, our smallest continent. And at the very bottom of the globe and at the bottom of our planet is the seventh continent, Antarctica. Most of our seven continents are divided into smaller pieces of land called countries. That's what all these different colors are within the bigger chunks of land. Like in North America, but Australia and Antarctica are continents that aren't broken up into smaller countries. The other five continents have almost 200 countries on them. That's a lot of land. But what's all the water on the globe? If you think there's a lot of land on Earth, just wait until you hear this. More than half of our world is covered in water. Ahem. Oh, hi, Webb, and hi, Bill. What are you guys up to? Well, Jesse, we heard you were going to be talking about water, and who better to help you than a couple of ducks who, I don't know, live in it. Good point. And actually, more than 70% of the world is covered in water. You're right. Isn't that cool? Some of it's fresh water, like what you find in lakes and rivers, where we hang out. Uh-huh. And by far, most of it's salt water, like what fills the oceans. And our planet is covered in five main, very big oceans. Exactly. And can you name the five oceans? Uh, of course we can. First, there's the Pacific Ocean, over there between Asia and the Americas. It's the largest ocean in the world. It covers almost 30% of the planet. It's so big, all seven continents could fit over it with room to spare. Whoa! But that's not all. On the other side of the Americas is the Atlantic Ocean, the planet's second largest ocean. The next biggest ocean is the Indian Ocean, below Asia and in between Africa and Australia. You're right! And another major ocean is up here at the top of the world, where there's no land, just water. This is the Arctic Ocean. The Arctic Ocean doesn't look much like the others in real life. That's because most of the time, it's covered in ice. Brr. And there's just one more ocean we should mention. I know, I know, the Southern Ocean. That's right. The Southern Ocean is the name for the waters that surround all of Antarctica at the southern end of the Earth. I'm just going to come out and say that that's too cold for me. Me too. We're not penguins. Now we know our globe, or at least the basics of it. The fact is, there are thousands of cities and lakes and rivers on the globe that we didn't talk about. And all of this different stuff is what makes our Earth so different and interesting as you travel from one place to the next. So, do you know what part of the globe you live on? Are you in Australia or Europe 
or here in north america like us? let us know! and if you have a question for any of us about our amazing world's weather, or animals, or plants, or anything else leave a comment below or send us an email at kids at the scishow dot com and we'll see you next time! bye! alright! thank you for watching that video with me! so let's go ahead and look at this map! so they did a really good job of explaining where everything was but let's see if we can remember. Okay, so the first thing is let's think, where is it that we live? So we're in Los Angeles and I don't know, does anyone know where we live? Which continent? Is it Australia? Is it Asia? Is it Europe? Africa? Do we live in Antarctica with the penguins? What about South America? None of those? You're right. We live in North America. So we live in the pink continent right here. And so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show us where exactly on this pink continent we live. We live all the way on the western edge. We live right here in Los Angeles. So we live on the uh, western coast of North America. All right. So let's go ahead. Let's look at the globe and let's see. I move up. Uh oh. Okay. Let me look at my annotations again and let's put our a new stamp because I made the screen smaller. So that's where we live right there. And I'm going to erase this stamp here. Okay. So let's go ahead and let's move all of these labels to the appropriate place on the map. So let's start with what we know. So the pink one is North America. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna drag it over, North America. And North America has countries like the United States, Canada, Mexico, Guatemala, El Salvador, Cuba, all sorts of countries. Underneath North America is exactly what you think it is. It's South America. I'm gonna put South America right here. It has countries like Brazil and Argentina and Peru. Then does anyone know what the name of the ocean is that uh, you visit whenever we go to the beach? That's right, it's the Pacific Ocean. So the Pacific Ocean is out here. So anytime you all go to the beach, maybe you go to the Santa Monica Pier, maybe you go to Malibu um, or Manhattan Beach, you're going to visit the Pacific Ocean. Okay. What about this other ocean on the other side of North and South America? Well, the lady in the video told us it is the Atlantic Ocean. So I'm going to move it over there. It is the Atlantic Ocean. Good job. So we have the uh, Pacific Ocean. Now we have the Atlantic Ocean. Uh oh. All right, what about this country here in blue? It looks like a very big country because it is. It is the second largest, I'm sorry, not country, continent, excuse me. It is the second largest continent, second only to Asia. And this deal here, this is Africa. Okay. We also have, does anyone remember what this dark blue continent is? As a hint, it's where the penguins live and it's very cold. That's right, it's Antarctica. So I'm gonna put Antarctica there. Great. What about the um, ocean that's surrounding Antarctica? That's right, it's called the Southern Ocean. Great. And you can remember that because it's at the very south part of the world. It covers all of Antarctica. Let's go back up to the yellow. This is Europe. Europe is where England is and France and Switzerland. We have Asia, which is here in the orange. And Asia has South Korea and China and Japan and uh, Russia and all sorts of countries. 
Australia is here in the purple. It's where kangaroos live. Um, it's also where um, you can find a real live boomerang. Arctic Ocean is all the way up here at the top. Remember, it's covered mostly with ice. And the Indian Ocean is underneath right here in between Africa and Australia. Awesome job. So these are all of the countries in, or sorry, all the continents and oceans that we have here in the world. So let's go back to our question. Remember we asked the question, we asked a couple of questions at the beginning and we wanted to know where all of these things were. So we have a picture here of the penguins. So the penguins live on a continent that is covered with ice does anyone remember? That's right, it's Antarctica. So the penguins live down here in Antarctica. That's where they are uh, sort of hobbling along and looking awesome, okay. Now remember, this is a flag about Mexico. And one question we had asked was, where is Mexico? And Mexico is in North America. It is right here southern part of North America, like right there. It's actually very, very close to where we live in Los Angeles. We live right here and Mexico is right there. So that makes it a really close country to us, one of our neighbors. We also were wondering where it was that Nemo got lost. Well, Nemo got lost in Australia and Australia is this big island that is in purple and I'm gonna move it all the way down here. And so he got lost right around here. Okay. This is a picture of the Korean flag. So which continent do you think Korea is on? Yeah, it's in Asia, it's about right here. So this is where South Korea is. And so you can see how very far South Korea is from the United States. It's very far away from Los Angeles and you have to take a plane to get there. It is probably about a 15 hour plane ride to get to South Korea from the United States. That's very long. And finally, we were wondering where the tigers live? The tigers live in Asia. So they live in lots of different places of Asia. They live in the jungles of Asia. Um, a lot of them live in China. Some of them live in India and in different places. So here is our map. And let me just move our star that has our picture of our, where we are in uh, Los Angeles and California. All right. Good job, everyone. So this is the answers to all the questions we had. All right, before we do our activity, let's go ahead and let's listen to a song that will help you remember the names of all of the continents and the oceans. Our Earth is a very, very, very big place. It is covered by water and land. Five huge oceans where we can swim And seven continents where we can stand Asia is the continent that has the most people It's also the largest in size It has the 50 highest mountains in the world Their peaks reach high into the skies Second largest is Africa it's the hottest continent of all. Largest sandy desert. Hi everyone, I realized I wasn't recording. Let me go back and start again. So that, or not, not recording the sound. Let me go back and start again so that you can hear the sound. Our Earth is a very, very, very big place. It is covered by water and land. Five huge oceans where we can swim And seven continents where we can stand 
Russia is the continent that has the most people. It's also the largest in size. It has the 50 highest mountains in the world. Their peaks reach high into the skies. Second largest is Africa. It's the hottest continent of all. It has the largest sandy desert in the world And animals both large and small If Africa's hottest, then which is the coldest? Antarctica, but it's so very cold It's only home to seals, penguins, and other birds Though the snow, it's the driest, I'm told is the wettest it's south america rainforests cover much of its face millions of animal species live there you'll find them all over the place our earth is a very 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 big place it is covered by water and land it has five huge oceans where we can swim and seven continents where we can stand let's look at australia it's the smallest of continents the fewest people call it home most of its land is the bushland and outback where koalas and kangaroos roam now on to europe though it's rather small it has dozens of famous old cities berlin madrid London and Rome, each city is uniquely pretty. Last but not least is North America. It's the continent that I know best. It is the home of our own United States, a wonder from East Coast to West. But let's not forget there are also five oceans. Please let me be quite specific. Their names are the Southern, Atlantic, and Arctic, the Indian, and the Pacific. Our Earth is a very, very, very big place. It is covered by water and land. It has five huge oceans where we can swim and seven continents where we can stand. I hope you learn something about all the continents and the names of our five oceans hopefully someday you will travel to each but only if you get the notion our earth is a very 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 big place it is covered by where we can stand oh yeah awesome thank you all all right so we're gonna go ahead and transition to our activity we are gonna make our very own map so you need paper and markers if you don't have markers you can use crayons. I have crayons right here because I don't have markers um, or colored pencils. Okay, I'm going to put the timer on for two minutes and I'll meet you back here once you have your materials.
All right, welcome back. So we are going to go ahead and we're going to learn about the seven consonants by drawing a map. I'm going to make my map with you and you can always pause the video if you need some more time to make your drawing. Okay, so I'm going to get out the colors that I want from my crayon box. It looks like I'm maybe going to need some black for the outline. So let's see. Get a black crayon yep, right here. And then I'm going to get seven different colors so that I can color in the seven different oceans. So I've got purple, red, green, There's red. I'm also going to get blue and there's a cool teal color that I really like. We're gonna use the teal. Uh, actually, let's see, I'm gonna use the teal for the oceans. I'm gonna get pink, pink right here. I'm gonna get an orange. So I've got red orange and then let's get a yellow okay so i've got one two three four five six seven different colors plus my blue for the ocean and my black for the outline okay so here we go learn the seven continents a little bit fast for me so i'm gonna pause and i'm gonna see if we can catch up okay so this is sort of what it looks like for south america or for north america and south america and then he's over making europe and africa right now so i'm just gonna copy what he's done and it's okay if yours doesn't look great because it's a map that we're just gonna color in Learn the seven colors. And then he's going to color in all of the continents a different color. I'm going to pause so that we can do it together, okay? So it looks like he's coloring Europe. in Europe in blue. So let's, I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to pause and I'm going to color Europe in turquoise blue. Okay. I've colored in Europe turquoise blue. Let me turn off my background so that you can. Sorry. Let me turn off my background so you can see my picture better. Okay. All right. So I've got my turquoise blue Europe right here. And see, my pigment map isn't perfect, but it looks pretty good. So I'm going to start again the video. And now he's got Asia that he's called coloring red. And I'll pause it so that I can catch up with him. It looks like he's sort of going really fast, and I'm not that fast of a color. Okay. So 
do, 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 coloring Asia red. I just colored over Korea. And now I'm coloring in Russia and China. All right. Asia. It looks like he's doing Australia in blue, but I'm going to do Australia in Australia. yellow. Not yellow, I'm sorry. I'm going to do Australia in orange. So I'm taking orange because I remember I picked out another color. So it's okay if you don't color the exact same colors that he colors. I'm coloring Australia orange. Okay. So there's my Australia. See my Australia is right here. My Australia is orange. Okay. And now he's coloring in the cup with yellow. Okay. I really would like to go to Africa one day so that I can see all of the lions and the elephants and the zebras and the giraffes. That's where they all live. They all live in Africa. If you've seen the Lion King, the Lion King takes place in Africa. Okay. All right. There is my Africa. Cool. All right, next, it looks like he's gonna take green and he's gonna take North America. Remember, that's where we live. Pause color there. All right, there's my green North America right here. North America. Okay, he's going to take South America and take purple. So okay, and let's color that. Okay, here's my South America. It's purple right here. America. Finally, you've got Antarctica. Remember, I colored Australia for our orange, so I'm going to color Antarctica pink. So I'm going to just put it down there. Remember, Antarctica is in the very bottom of the planet, so on the South Pole, it's where the penguins live. All right, so there is where I've done Antarctica. And I colored Antarctica. Very good, everyone. So this is a picture of our world. Okay, so you all have made a picture of the globe. And remember, this is where we all live here on this planet. So this is a map of our planet. So let's take a second and let's get one more thing on. So let's take our black marker and let's Put a star next to where we live in Los Angeles, California, in the United States in North America. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to write a star. It's going to go like right here on the west coast of North America. All right, everyone. Good job and awesome job with your map. Once you get your maps done, go ahead and take a picture of them and put it on um, your class dojo portfolio so that I can see your amazing maps so that we can show that we've learned all about our world and the globe. Miss KJ is also today going to be taking us deeper into Asia where she's going to be teaching us all about the different music and the different countries of Asia. She's going to be talking about music in Japan, music in Korea, music in China, music in India, 
all over that continent um, because this month is Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Month. So we want to celebrate the countries in Asia. All right, everyone, thank you so much. Have a wonderful day and we will talk soon. Bye.